Hey guys, this is Wolfo, and this week we'll be talking about how to destroy the T60 and how to stay alive longer in the T60. But before we hop over into that, I highly suggest you guys join the Wolfo's Hideout Discord server. We're gonna have monthly enlisted and warfunder events, monthly giveaways, a highly advanced leveling system, m monthly free promotions for Discord members, and a lot more. Links in the description. Let's hop over into it. Here we have the T60 Russian light tank with a 20mm T and SH cannon and a 7.62 DT machine gun with two crew members, a commander and a driver. The commander does the shooting and the loader. The driver is pretty much just the driver. Uh, we're going to hop over into some of the x-rays here show you guys where stuff is. Okay, so we have the transmission here, we have the driver, and some optics up here in the front. So we have the transmission, driver, ammo is right there, turret ring, gun, machine gun, and commander, which also does the firing and the loading. Optics, we have the engine there, ammo there, machine gun, more optics up in the turret. To the side here, you can see the engine better, transmission, radiator, the cannon breech and the cannon. The From the back, you will fuel tank, radiator. To From the left side, you can see the commander, the driver, and where the two positions of the ammo are. Let's hop over to the first tank, which is the PZ-2C. Okay. Now we're going to test the armor against the PZ-2C, which has a 20mm, the same as the T-60. We will be using APIT, armor piercing incinerator, incinerator tracing rounds. I kind of screwed up there, but uh, as you can see here, you will have very, very, you'll pretty much have a lot of trouble painting the front. Except for a certain area, which I'll show, but it's APIT. Uh, ricochets, no penetration, no penetration up in the turret, really, but there is this one little spot. No penetration down here on the lower plate, but that's because it's slanted, the top upper plate is slanted too. You do have that like upwards of where the driver is with the optics, but even then that's not penetrable because that is 35 millimeters of thickness. Also that lower plate is 35 millimeters of thickness. Um, up in the turret, you'll not really pen up there. The gun mantle is where the game gets a little bit different. As right there, you see in the green, it is penable right there in the gun mantle between the machine gun and the cannon. The only problem is the only thing you'll really be hitting is taking out the, the commander, which is the gunner and the loader, which is actually really good because you'll disable the tank, making the player have to put the driver back up in the gunner position, meaning they will not be able to move, where you can pretty much uh, go in and steal that kill. You can see from the protection map here, it's pretty much just this, uh, the gun mantle between the machine gun and the cannon it is your penable part. Now we'll go over to the left side here. Well, we're going to bring the protection map on first. And you can see here, pretty much a lot of it's penable, except for the turret. The turret has great armor against the 20mm. Hit back here, you'll just hit the radiator and the fuel tank. That's not what you want. But if you come up here, you hit right here. You will not hit anything, but you hit right here. You'll be smacking the driver, and then you come up to the turret there. You see the turret's not penable. It's got really great armor. Apparently it gets 20 millimeters. Hey, right here you will hit the engine, possibly, but you will also hit the commander taking the tank out with two shots, pretty much. But because it's 20 millimeter, you'll probably be spraying and praying, but that's alright. Protection map here is the same way. Turn still not penable, but that's alright. You can uh, hit back here, which will hit the fuel tank and the ammo. That's one of the ammo locations. Then the other ammo location is a little bit right here. That's your other ammo location. You also will hit the uh, commander, but you have the ammo there, but you can just hit right here. You'll hit the commander, take him out, and then hit right here, and you'll take the driver out. Pretty much taking the tank out, and you'll hit the engine too, but they're already dead, so. Now the back is a little, a little bit of a different ball game here. 
that turn armor is really coming in handy for the T60 compared to the PZ2C. Uh, the only really pinnable position here is the exhaust for the radiator, which really all you will be taking out is the radiator then, which is not really, not really good for it. But um, that's the uh, PZ2C versus the T60. Next, we'll be hopping over to the PZ3B and the PZ3E. Now we have the T60 versus the PZ-3B and the PZ-3E. They both have 30mm guns. The shell types are, um, I think it's, it's APHE and then APCR. I'm just going to go with APHE because that's what I think it uses. I haven't really played it much, but if you guys know what it uses, please let me know in the comments. But it pretty much will be the same here. It's both armor-piercing. As you can see here, the 37mm will have some issues with this lower plate still, and the upper plate. But you get a little bit of a penetration zone right here in that front, that slanted, not slanted, yeah, the slanted part. But really all you'll be hitting is the optics there. Maybe hit right down in here a little bit lower. You take out, boom, take out pretty much the whole tank right there. But if you're not that type of guy, and they're looking at you, just hit the gun mantle and call it a day. So we'll hop over to the left side here now. The turret is finally pinnable with a 37mm, you know, 20 mil, a little weak. But that uh, only damaged them, really, didn't take them out. They hit right here. That will take out the engine. They won't move. But you hit right here, and boom, that's pretty much a one shot right there. Come over to the right side. You have the ammunition you get on this side, actually. But you hit right here, which will hit the commander, and the strap metal will do the work on the driver. You'll hit the ammo there. Not really an ammo explosion, but you still hit the ammo. Come from behind here, the turn is pinnable from behind. And it takes out everybody. I'm surprised, actually. I'm surprised that Shell just didn't strap metal didn't bounce back because it hit the front of the turn. But, oh, uh, that's the PZ-3B and the PZ-4E. Now we have the PZ-3J versus the T60. The PZ-3J has a 50mm, same 50mm as the Puma. It has uh, AP, APC, and an APCR. We're just going to go with APC. As you can see here, the 50mm will have no issues penning the front of the T60. You'll be able to pen the lower plate, upper plate, a little bit of issues up in the left corner there, but there is tracks there, adding a little bit more armor on. Uh, you have this little slant right there where the most of the armor is anyway. The turn, you'll have a little issues with, but you won't be hitting those sides of the turn anyway. You pop a shot right in here, and pretty much take the whole tank out with one shot. Hit the gun mantle up here, right in between there. And this seems to be the kill spot, too. Take out the commander, making the driver have to hop up there, and the tank useless, pretty much, then. Also, you damage the gun. Hop over to the side here, left side. Just hit right here. And then, boom. It's pretty much a one shot kill, too. If not, the command the driver will just hop up in the commander's position. And you can just fire another shot in there and get it pretty easy. Coming over to the right side, you have the ammo locations you can hit. Which, that is an ammo explosion right there. And this one is an ammo explosion, too. And taking out both crew members. Come from behind, you'll just want to smack the turn because if you hit right in here, you're hitting the fuel tanks and the radiator, and that's just so no slow down the shell, and maybe even just turn it into strap metal. So you just want to hit the turn and let the driver come back up. The driver hop up into the commander's position. Now we have the PZ 4E versus the T60. The PZ-4E has a 75mm with four different shell types, A, C, B, C, Heat, H, E, and then Heat again, and then a smoke shell. We will just be using the top shell, which is A, P, B, C. Uh, you will have a little bit of issues with the front lower plate, but that is the lower plate. It's at an angle. 
upper plate doesn't seem to be no issue maybe oh yep yeah, some issues there too but if you get a little low bait up in there you can hit right here that's pretty much penetrated even though that's the thickest part and right up in the gun mantle still penetrable too you can just hit right here for that easy kill shot yep easy kill shot right there and you can hit right here for another easy kill shot You got the left side here, just hit right here, hit the engine, and that's pretty much easy kill shot right there. Hop over to the right side, pretty much don't be the same way. Or you can hit the ammo. I would just hit it right there anyway. You would just get your easy kill. Then from behind, you'll just want to hit it from the back of the turret. And you will kill the commander, or the driver will hop up in the commander's position, and you can just fire another shot right up in there and get him. If it doesn't kill him in one shot. Next we have the PZ4F1. Now we have the PZ4F1, which literally just has the same gun as the PZ4E. It's a 75mm and has the same shell type, so you'll just hit it in the same location. We'll move on to the last tank. Lastly, we have the PZ38TF, which is a premium vehicle versus the T60. It has a 37 millimeter with uh, three different shell types, mostly all APC, no APHE. Uh, you will have some issues with the lower plate in the front and some of the upper plate. But if you just hit the uh, hit the two kill spots in the front, you'll pretty much get it. So hit right here. That's one one kill spot, and then the other second kill spot is the gun mantle between the machine gun and the cannon. Left side, you will probably just want to go for the commander, taking the gunner out, leaving the driver have to switch to the position or drive away, depending on what the player decides to do. Same thing over here. And then you can go for the ammo, but that's really just up to you. Then from behind, you just want to hit the back of the turret. Uh, but uh, lastly here, uh, not lastly, but um, before the video ends, I'll be giving you guys some advice on how to stay alive longer in the T60. Some tips for staying alive longer in the T60 is would I would just not frontally attack most of the German tanks. If you do see a PZ-2C, I will say take that thing out with extreme prejudice, but um, if you see like the PZ-3s or the, or the 4s or the 38T, I would tread lightly, try to go for sides, behind, I wouldn't frontly take it on, either any of them on, especially with the armor you have and what we've shown here. Um, if you don't really see tanks, I would just stick with infantry, play an infantry support role, because it's just a 20mm, which is literally just a 20 millimeter machine gun and you have your secondary machine gun too so that's it with that really but if you guys did make it this far in the video put what your uh, guys' favorite tank of world war ii in the comments i'll see you guys in the next video ciao